Welcome back to Rick's List. I'm Rick Sanchez. Republican Senator Robert Bennett has always been considered a bona fide conservative. He's voted against uh, same-sex marriage, voted against abortion rights, against the stimulus package, against the Democratic plan for health care reforms, against the auto bailout. Uh, according to the uh, Salt Lake City Tribune, Bennett votes Republican 88% of the time. He gets a score of 98 from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. He's gotten an A from the National Rifle Association and 84% from the American Conservative Union. Uh, it sounds, right, like he's pretty conservative. But in this election year, he may not be conservative enough. Here he is talking to our own Jessica Yellen. My colleagues in the Senate find that hilarious. <laughs> On both sides of the aisle, they come up and say, if you're not a conservative, we don't know what a definition of a conservative is. Jessica's joining us now. She's in Salt Lake City, Utah. She's been working on this story. Why is it that three-term Senator Robert Bennett fighting for his political life within his own Republican Party, given the record that I just read to our viewers, Jessica? Well, Rick, it's really a battle for the soul of the Republican Party. You're looking at Tea Party Republicans, in a sense, against old school Republicans. And although Bob Bennett is one of those guys who has been considered a darling of the right for years, for many of the votes you've referred to, he made two fatal sins. He voted for the first bailout, that Wall Street tarp bailout in 2008, when the Treasury said, the sky is falling, you better act or else. Uh, and the folks here think that it showed he doesn't have enough fiscal discipline and they have a zero tolerance policy on that. His second sin was that he talked to a Democrat about fashioning a possible health care alternative. He came up with an alternative plan. It went nowhere. He ultimately voted no on the Democrats' health care plan. But the fact that he even came up with that compromise is what stirred so much rage among the party activists here. And he could pay the ultimate political price for it, Rick. Is this one of those cases, speaking generally, maybe in more broad terms rather than just in Bennett's yeah. case, of be careful what you wish for? The Republicans really wanted to reach out to their base. And in many of those who are in that base, they are very strident, maybe more Tea Party voters than Republican voters. And now they're kind of turning against the mothership, so to speak. Right. I mean, it, it really is. It's this Tea Party movement and the anger and passion it stirred uh, that is um, it's a blunt political t uh, tool rage. And so this Tea Party rage is turning on some of the Republican Party's own folks. You know, it used to be that you were a true conservative if you were a social conservative. And that doesn't matter mm. to these folks quite in the same way. Uh, and so the fact that you might take a vote uh, on issues that they disagree with, th there's a zero tolerance policy. And some Republicans are very worried that they will lose some of their own because of it uh, come November. It could cut into any electoral gains they might see. By the way, one final thing, they're in Utah. They do use a different type of election yeah. principle, right? These, these aren't, you yes. were telling me this on the phone the other day, uh, or by email, pardon me, that it's not so much voters yeah. as it is almost like a caucus, so to speak, right? It really is. Yeah, 3,500 delegates will go into a convention tomorrow and they decide who the nominee is. So uh, Senator Bennett has to rank in the top two in order to force a runoff and then voters can decide. Uh, but mm. if he doesn't get into the top two, he's out. And it really, this sort of style allows for the most vocal, the most engaged party activists to decide. And right now that's the Tea Party folks. So they're making the decision first tomorrow. Uh, and I should make it clear, Rick, that even if Bennett loses, this is a red state. They'll still get a Republican for that right, seat. Right, it's yeah. just, is this a Republican who will work across the aisle? Different kind, of, different kind of folk they're looking for now. Yeah, we talked about the effects it'll probably have on the election from the Democratic side. And today we're talking about some of the effects it would have from the Republican side. We've got both bases covered. My thanks to you, Jessica. We'll see you again yep. Monday. Take a look at this now.